Okay, we're now looking on page 24 at line 87, warm up chop builder. Let's look at the F sharp that we have here in the first measure. It's fingered with the first finger. Show that first finger. And it sounds like this. So play that F sharp. Okay, play the F sharp again and play with her. Ready? Now. Okay, let's let's play the first four measures of 87. Let's finger first. First note is G, then F sharp, then G, then regular F natural with the thumb, then G, then E, then G. Let's play those first four measures. Here we go. One, two, first four, now. Now let's look at the last four measures. Let's say in finger, first note is G, then D, then G, then C, then G, then F sharp, then G. And it has a fermata that means to hold it out. So let's play those last four measures. Ready, begin. several times until you make no mistakes on it. We're looking at the little green box at the top of the page that says notes and it shows us two different ways to play F sharp. The first way is with our front finger just like we've done in the past and then the second way is an alternate or chromatic F sharp which is the thumb and the two side keys on the right and it sounds just the same as the other. Let's play that alternate F sharp. Ready, play. Okay, this is number 88, Song of Remembrance. Starts out medium soft, mezzo piano. We're gonna take the pickup note and we're gonna stop at the breath mark. So let's finger the notes and say the note names. Ready, now. D, G, A, B flat, A, G, F sharp, G, D, C, D, off. Now let's play that much. Ready? Here we go. One, play. <laughs> four measures. Let's say in finger. Here we go. One, go. D, D, C, B flat, C, D, C, D, G, F sharp, G. Now let's play those, the last four measures with the pickup. One, breathe. <laughs> each individual part and work it out until you have all the notes worked out. Then let's go all the way through 88. Here we go, all the way through. One, ready, breathe. Smooth and even.
This is number 89, Concert F Major Scale, your G Major Scale with the arpeggio and chords. Look at the key signature at the very beginning. The key signature has an F sharp in it. The sharp's on the top line of the staff. That means that our, all of our Fs are sharp and all of our Bs are natural, middle finger. So let's say in finger from the first half note to the second half note. Here we go. Ready, say in finger. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Let's play that. Ready? One, two, ready, and play. Now let's say in finger from the second half note to the whole note. Here we go. Ready? Now. G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, A, G. We hold that for four counts. Let's play that second half note to the whole note. One, two, ready, begin. Now we're going to play the full scale from the first half note to the whole note. Keep doing this in sections and then do the whole scale together. Here we go. Full scale. One, two, full scale. Now. Okay, now that we've done the scale, let's look at the arpeggio. Let's say and finger the arpeggio that they show here. Ready? Now, G, B natural, D, B natural, G. Let's play that. Ready? One, two, playing now. Okay, well now we're going to look at the chords at the end. And we're going to do this twice. The first time we're going to do the top notes. Then we'll do the bottom notes. Let's say and finger the top notes. Ready? Now, G, E, G, F sharp, G. Let's play that. Ready? One, two, play the top notes. Now let's say and finger the bottom notes. Here we go. For the chords. Ready? Now. B natural, C, B natural, C, B natural. Let's play that. One, two, ready, now. Okay, so you can play that with the recording, you can play the top notes with the bottom note recording, you can play the bottom notes with the top note recording, so you can hear the harmony. Now we're going to go all the way through this, and this time Gabby will play just the top notes at the end. So all the way through 89. 1, 2, 89, now. <laughs> Santa Lucia. We're going to, first thing we have to look at always is our key signature. And in our key signature, we have a sharp on the top line, which is the F line. That tells us that every F in this piece is F sharp. Also, if you have any Bs, those Bs would be B natural middle finger because there's no flats. So let's say and finger the first four measures. Here we go. Ready, say and finger. D, D, G, G, F sharp, F sharp, hold, C, C, E, E, D, hold. Now we're going to make sure that we slur the notes that have the slur marks. Let's play that together now. Ready? First four measures. One, ready, begin. 
Now let's look at the last four measures. The last four measures, let's say in finger. Ready? And now. B, E, D, D, C, C, hold. D, E, F, A, G, hold. All right, now let's play those last four measures, making sure we slur the notes that are marked slurred. Here we go. One, last four, now. Okay, now that we've worked on each section, you can back up the video and go over each section until you have it worked. Now that we've practiced this individual parts of number 90, Let's go all the way through. Here we go. One, ready, begin. backing that up and going over it until you have it completely worked out. Okay, this is number 91, Sight Reading Challenge, Boogie Blues. We're going to finger and say the first four measures. Notice there's nothing in the key signature, so every note is natural unless it has an accidental like we see in the second measure and in the fourth measure. And that accidental lasts for the whole measure. So let's say the note names and finger the first four measures. Here we go. One, two, say and finger. Now, C, E, G, A, B flat, B flat, A, G, E, C, E, G, A, G, G, F sharp, G, E. Now make sure that second measure that both B's are B flat because that flat lasts for the whole measure. Let's play the first four measures. Ready? One, two, first four, now. <laughs> Now let's look at the next four measures. Now notice the first note there has a natural sign next to it. That doesn't have to be there. That's only there as a courtesy because that F sharp goes away at the bar line and we go back to F natural. So let's say and finger the next four measures. Ready? Now F, C, C, F, G, A, A, G, F, E, G, G, E, C, E, G, A, B flat. And the flat is only good for that one note because there's nothing after it in the measure. So let's play that now. Second four measures. One, two, and ready, second four. <laughs> until we have it worked out good. Now we're looking at the last four measures. Once again here we have an F sharp marked and then we have another F sharp in the measure because that sharp lasts. In the second measure of this they have the little accidental in the parentheses which is a courtesy accidental that tells us that, that, that F is no longer sharp. Then at the end we have an F sharp marked, and then when we get to the very last note, we're going to play the top note of this. So let's say and finger the last four measures. Here we go. Ready, say and finger. G, F sharp, G, F sharp, G, hold. F natural, E, F, E, F, hold. G, G, F sharp, G, E, C, G, G, E, C, B flat. All right, so now it says MP, and with that big crescendo, and then it gets loud for the last two measures. So we're going to get louder as we go through these four measures. Here we go, ready? All right, now we're ready to go all the way through number 91. 
So we'll play all the way through beginning to end and we'll use the top note for the last note. Okay, let's go all the way through now. Ready? Here we go. One, two, here we go now. <laughs> crescendo there toward the end and getting louder as it tells you to. Okay, this is number 92, Skill Builder. This is normally a test line, so you want to spend a little more time on this one. So the first thing we always have to look at before we play something is the key signature at the beginning. We have a sharp marked on the top line of the staff, which means every F is sharp all the way through, but there's no B flat, so all of our Bs are natural. Uh, let's say and finger the first four measures. Starts has a pickup, starts on beat three. Ready? One, two, three, G, G, A, G, F sharp, G, 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 E, D, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Let's play that. Ready? Here we go. One, two. <laughs> four. Ready? One, two. E, A, A, B, C, A, B, G, E, D, E, F sharp, G, A, F sharp, G. Last four. Here we go. Let's pick up. One, two. sections out completely, then you're ready to play the whole piece. Look at the key signature one more time, making sure we're playing F sharp and B naturals. Here we go. All the way through 92. One, 92, now. <laughs> until you've got it completely worked out and you're ready to take a test grade on it. Now this is number 93. This is the clarinet private lesson. This is what we talked about earlier at the top in the notes box where it showed us two different ways to play F sharp. In this exercise, they want you to use the chromatic F sharp, which is the thumb and the two side keys, to play F sharp because when we go from F to F sharp, we don't want to go back and forth between the front finger and the thumb. So let's finger the first two measures of this. We have E, then F, then we add the side keys for chromatic F sharp, then G. Let's play those first two measures. Ready? Here we go. One, ready, now. E, F, chromatic F sharp, G. Okay, now the next two, we're coming back down with the same thing. We have G then the chromatic F sharp, then we move the side keys to make regular F, then E. Let's play those two measures, ready? Third and fourth measure, ready? Now. Okay, so let's go all the way through the first four measures, making sure we use the two side keys to play F sharp. Here we go. One, first four, now. uses the notes that we just worked on. We have, let's finger together, we have E, F, chromatic F sharp, G, chromatic F sharp, F, E, regular F because there's no sharp, then D, 
then C. Okay, let's play that. Ready? One, ready, begin. <laughs> So now let's go all the way through number 93. Here we go. 193, play. Okay, we want to keep working on this. The reason for this chromatic F sharp is so that we don't get extra notes when we go back and forth between F and F sharp. So if we do it the other way, play an F with your thumb, and then F sharp with the first finger. Now go back and forth without using your tongue. And we can hear that we're getting an extra note in there. But when we use the chromatic F sharp, show the regular F with the thumb, F sharp with the side, now go back and forth without the hand. See, we can do that smoothly without getting that flip-flop sound with the extra notes. So that's why we use the chromatic F sharp, but we only really use that fingering if we're going from an F to an F sharp or an F sharp to an F. So keep working on this until you've got that F sharp and the chromatic F sharp mastered.